Welcome back to Copycat Friday, guys, the weekly series in which we try to recreate visual effects from famous movies and music videos. And yes, I'm Rick today from Rick and Morty, as we're going to try and recreate the portal, but also the portal gun itself. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh, that's not good. Eh? For this video, we need to do two things. First, we're gonna create our own props, which is going to be the portal gun from Rick. And second, we're gonna test how the portal effect works, and we're gonna start with the cartoonish version. Let's do this. The cartoon portal was actually quite easy to make and super fast. So we decided together that Jenik is gonna work on a realistic version. And while he's doing that, I want to show you guys how you still can make this portal. In After Effects, I used the fractal noise effect to create a flowing smooth pattern just like this. Then I used the luma key to key out all the bright spots, so you're only left with these dark swirls. To make the pattern less smooth, I used the rough and edges effect, and this also made sure the patterns weren't connected everywhere, and made them look like separate pieces just like in the original effect. Then I added the twirl effect to create the spinning effect, and a tint to change the black to a green that I wanted. The overall shape of the portal I created with a simple circle where I added some rough and edges to. And this I also used to mask out the shapes we made in the beginning. I repeated the same process for the other green and white colors, added some glow to the edge of the portal and the white streaks. And also I added some circles with the bubble effect. The last step was to animate it, which I simply did by rotating the different patterns and animating the evolve from the fractal noise effect. Now I know this was quite fast, but don't worry because you can download this After Effects project completely for free with the link in the description down below so check it out have fun with it and don't forget to tag us so we can have a look at your awesome videos but did you know that you can also create awesome videos with storyblocks our sponsor for today's video as a filmmaker it's the best tool you can have instead of spending hours and hours on creating a cool logo animation you can download one and easily slap your logo on it next to this they also have a huge stock library of footage in hd and 4k of people cities nature sports they have animated backgrounds, overlay effects, transitions and even different kind of portals. And the best of all is that you only have to pay a single price per year to have unlimited downloads. So don't wait any longer and click the first link in the description down below for more info. So since I'll be playing Rick, uh, I'm gonna take a look at what he's actually wearing. A lab coat, a brown pants and a blue shirt. I can do that. But wait, who's gonna play Morty? I know who has a, uh, a yellow sweater. It's this guy. This is gonna be fun, guys. Now, before we can start shooting, we first need some props. And we're gonna rebuild the portal gun from Rick. Now, luckily, we found a template, which we can cut out. And Lorenzo is printing that right now. Hello. What I'm now going to do is get the material in the store for our portal gun, which is going to be this foam carton, which we can easily cut and paste and create the gun. Let's get it. A few moments later. Okay. 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 Can't wait to get into another dimension. <laughs> it's really coming together. Look at that. Look at that! So we finished our portal gun and it's looking super great. And now you're probably wondering how did they make this? Well, super simple. We found this template online which we then downloaded and used as a stencil on this foam board. We then cut it out and glued it all together. Then with some plastic tube, some buttons, some PVC pipes, we made it look like the portal gun from Rick. And then for the light of course, because the light is the most important aspect, we used a simple Cameron light from Aperture. We then place it inside and look at that, we have some green light. And now the creme de la creme, a display which we can use. Isn't this the most awesome portal gun you've ever seen? And oh yeah, we had to 
extend the barrel, the, the handle, because we have a battery in there. <laughs> didn't see that. Note to self, don't aim the gun down. Oh, wait, it works. No, it doesn't. Do you guys know what is super handy about being a filmmaker? When you make a mess such as we did with the portal gun, we can just say it's set dressing and we don't have to clean anymore. Disco Rick. <laughs> You'll never catch me alive. Great. Let's go, Lorenzo. The effect is quite simple, but I do recommend shooting this from a tripod because you want to shoot two shots which afterwards are going to be placed on top of each other so they have to match. Now since the portal is going to be reflected onto a wall, it is best to do this onto a movable wall or on a door if you don't have that. We are also just going to do it on a door because obviously you want to jump through that portal so you can't just jump into a wall. Now in the first shot as you play out your act, you just want to shoot at your portal with the door open and you can also add a green light behind that door as an extra effect as you do so. So pew, the portal is there and now you just jump through it and that's it. Now keep the camera rolling, super important. We're going to close the door and walk out of the frame. And that's it. Those are the two shots that you'll need. Introducing the all new Portal Gun 2.0. Create portals to more than 3,000 dimensions with the ease of the new tactile buttons. The improved and long hand grip gives you better control than ever before. Order now at portal-gun.com and claim your 10% discount. We have all our shots that we need to create the portal effect from Rick and Morty. So to start with the effect, we place our shot with the actor in our sequence. Then on top, we place an empty shot and masked out the part to cover up the door. But now, when the actor runs through the door, he will disappear too soon. So we rotoscoped him out for a small part. And now we have a shot where the actor walks through the wall. Of course, not what we want, so let's create the portal. First, we created a new composition with a resolution of 2500 by 2500. Then we also created a new solid layer and on this added the fractal noise effect. We tweaked around with the settings until we had something like this. You can also choose your own style if you want. Of course, we can't forget to animate the evolution to get some motion. Now, this recreation of the portal is a personal interpretation of the original, so you don't have to copy our settings exactly. With this set, our fractal noise is ready. We can now pre-compose our solid layer. Quick tip, always name your layers properly to keep everything clean, and this layer we will call portal texture. Then on the new pre-composed layer, we added the CC sphere effect and again changed some settings like the radius, the light intensity, the light height and the light direction. Next up, we added the CC vector blur to make it more liquid-like, played around with the amount and map softness to get the wanted look. Then it's time to add some displacement. So we created an adjustment layer and added a turbulent displace effect to it. We set the displacement to twist, lowered the amount a little bit and again animated the evolution for some motion. Okay, our center of the portal is already done. So again, we select both clips and pre-compose them. Let's call this portal inside. The next step now is going to be the extra swirls inside the portal. So in the project panel, we selected our project inside comp made a duplicate and renamed it to Portal Swirl. We are going to use this duplicate as a starting base for our swirls, so open up that comp. Now on our portal texture, we are going to add some extra effects. So we looked for the troll effect and placed that between the CC sphere and the CC vector blur effect. We then lowered the troll radius and increased the angle. This will leave you with a small troll in the middle. However, the rest of the layer also needs to twirl, so we duplicated the troll effect and increased the troll radius and angle. And voila, we have a twirling orb. But if we look at the original cartoon version, we can see that the inside twirls are more stroke-like. So let's remove some black to create those strokes. With the extract effect, we can take away the black or white from our orb. So we remove the black to get those white twirling strokes. Exactly what we needed. Then the last thing we did was animate the rotation so that it all spins around. One last thing we created was the glowing edge of the portal. We again duplicated the portal inside and renamed it to Portal Edge. Then in that duplicate, we created a solid layer and on the solid we made a round mask with the same size as the orb. 
Next, we removed the portal texture layer and on the solid layer, we added the Saber effect. This is a free plugin from Video Copilot, a must have in your effects library. So we tweaked some settings until we had something like this. And now we have all the components for our portal and it's time to combine everything together. In the composition with our shots, we are going to place our three portal compositions, starting with the inside on the bottom, then the swirl and on top of that, the portal edge. We made these three layers 3D and place them on the right spot that we want. Now what we did was adding two extra twirling layers and we also moved them a little bit in the 3D space away from the inside layer. This created some extra depth in the portal. Look at that, we have a great portal. Of course we gave it some colors by using the CC toner effect and picked out some greenish shades. We also gave everything a little bit of blur to make it more smooshy. Then the very last step was adding some extra details, like a simple glow, adding some particles coming from the portal, maybe some displacement on the environment, and oh yeah, when somebody walks through the portal it needs to wiggle. We simply did this with one effect. We pre-composed our portal layer and placed a bulge effect on the portal. We then just animated the bulge height and gave it a bounce expression. And voila, we are done. Wrench! Wrench! Screwdriver! Screwdriver! Plumbus! Plumber! Wait, Jordy, it's not here. What do you mean it's not here? Lorenzo, the plumbus, come on. It's not here. What, it's not here? Fine, we'll go borrow one from Rick at a Dimension C47. Come on, follow me. Aloha. Yeah, yeah. Just give me your plumbus. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. No. We gave it to another Rick in C37. Yeah. Sorry. Great. Let's go, Lorenzo. You'll never catch me alive! Always the same with this Rick. Jordy, look right there. The plumbus. Oh. Great. Let's go, Lorenzo. And that is how you can make your own portal from Rick and Morty. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. Definitely check them out. Link in the description down below. And as always, stay creative. Let's test how stable you are, Timo. Was it stable? It was stable. It was stable. Okay. Still stable? Uh, not anymore.